Welcome to the video class for 9th standard. Today we are going to discuss about the first chapter area. The term area is familiar to you because you have learned how to find the areas of different figures like triangles, square, rectangle, parallelogram, etc. The first part of this chapter mainly discussing about the area of a triangle. Before we are going to the chapter, we have to make a recall of the previous knowledges. First one, the area of a triangle. How to find the area of a triangle? You have already learned that equation and we are looking at the equation one, once more. We have a triangle ABC. We have to find the area of this triangle ABC. And AD is the perpendicular distance from the opposite vertex A to BC. So our equation is area of triangle ABC equal to half into BC into AD. That is half into base into height from the opposite vertex. This is the equation for finding the area of a triangle. The second one is parallel lines. What are parallel lines? Yes, yes, lines which never intersect are called parallel lines. We have two lines are given. Can we say these two lines are parallel? At the first side we can say that they are not intersecting. But what happens when we are extending these two lines? But we can say they are intersecting. So these are not parallel lines. The parallel lines are not those which never intersect. Why these two lines become intersecting? Just we take the distance between these two lines. The distance means perpendiculars. We can see that the distance is gradually decreasing and finally they reach a zero. At that point they are intersecting. So how we draw two parallel lines? We can draw two parallel lines by fixing the distance between these lines or we keep the distance between the lines fixed. Now from the figure we can say that these two are parallel lines. Since the distance between these two lines are equal at any point. So the parallel lines are those which will never intersect or at any point, the distance between the lines are equal. Now we have to solve our problem. A triangle is given. We named it as triangle ABC. Our question is, we have to draw a new triangle with the same area of that of triangle ABC but different in shape. We have to draw a new triangle with the same area but different in perimeter or shape. Here, the area of triangle ABC is equal to equal to 1 by 2 into AB into H. Area of triangle ABC equals half into AB into H. AB is base and H is the height. Now we are drawing another triangle, a new triangle with the same base AB. Okay. Now what is the Equation for area, it is half AB into H. Since half is a fixed number, we are fixing AB. Now, the only measure we have to fix is the height H. If three measures are fixed, then the new triangle have same area as that of ABC, triangle ABC. So, we just discussed how we are fixing the height. For this, 
we are using the property of pair lines. We know that for pair lines, at any point, the height between the lines are same or distance between lines are same at any point. We use this property for drawing the new triangle with the same area. What we are doing is, we are drawing a line parallel to base AB through the point C. Now, the distance between AB and this line is same at any point. Now, we are marking a point P somewhere in this parallel line and joining AP also PB. Now, the new triangle formed is triangle APB. Since the lines AB and the, this line are parallel, we can say that the heights of CB and APB are same. That is, height of APB also should be H. Now the area of triangle APB equals half into AB into H as same as that of triangle ABC. We have discussed about how to draw a triangle with the same areas and now we are going to draw the correct figure or actual figure. One triangle ABC is given. ABC is given and we have to construct another triangle with the same area. For this, we have to draw a line parallel to AB through C. You have learned in 7th standard how to draw parallel lines. So we are using Z square and ruler for this. Just place the Z square coincide with the base AB and then adjust the ruler so that the set square doesn't move. Now we are moving the set square only up to C and we are drawing a line parallel to AB through C. Now it is easy to mark a point anywhere in this parallel line say R and joining these two points AR and BR new triangle ABR is formed its area is same as that of triangle ABC since its height is same and base is same AB So we have learned that for a given triangle, how to draw another triangle with the same area but different shapes. Using this result, you have an assignment, draw below triangles with the same area, two triangles are given. Today we have discussed a small portion in the chapter area. The coming episodes we will discuss more, more topics and thank you for listening.